right. Okay, here we go. TJ Brown here, and I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about The Hanging Edge and um, actually show you everyone how to make a switch control macro on your iPhone iOS 10. And um, yeah, so the reason why I'm really liking this event is because the beginning stage is so awesome. It's like really cool. So check it out. It's one stage long, right? Um, it doesn't take much to kill this guy. Well, at least I don't think it does. Those saws have no weapons or anything. They're like level 20. Um, but it doesn't take anything to kill this guy. One, one stage, uh, three energy gives you 50 rank, which is great. Um, it gives you TM, which is about 20% faster than the Earth Shrine. So that's like 20% faster than we've ever been to grind TM, which is really cool. And if you have some bonus people, you get some gears. I mean, it adds up, right? That's what the whole thing is. And when you're macroing, you're not, you know, doing anything there. So it's, you know, it just piles up. And you get Magicite Shards and occasionally Sacred Crystals. So that's super cool that said let's go learn how to uh to macro it so because it's super easy and um why not i think farming tm regularly is crazy and uh even even uh gumi allows it they're like yeah as long as you're not doing anything dumb and trying to hack us we're cool with it so we are in our settings panel, and you're going to navigate to the general tab. Now what we're looking for is in the accessibility options, because it's for people who don't like doing repetitive tasks. It hurts my hand, and so I'm going to use this. It's called the switch control. Now we're going to make a new recipe, and create something new. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna call mine Hedge because it's Hanging Edge. And then I'm gonna assign a switch to it. That's the button right below. I want it full screen. And then I want to make a custom gesture. All right. Tap or swipe to create a custom gesture. The sequence will be replayed in the timing and locations that are recorded here. And rotate the device to the same orientation you intend to use. Okay, what we want is behind the controls here. So I'm just going to hit hide controls. Um, and then it's going to start as soon as I start tapping. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm doing is imagining the, um, the Final Fantasy interface. And what I want it to do. So what I want this control to do, right, is hit begin, hit next, hit uh, friend unit, hit depart. You see how it's all like right there in the bottom? So I'm just going to have it do that and then hope that maybe a guy down here will be able to kill it. So you have to place a unit here on the bottom that you know will kill the boss in one hit. And then everyone else, it doesn't matter. It could be freshly pulled bonus units, because why not, right? Um, seems like kind of intentional design. Oh my god, dude, that shit's so close. So close, and 20% faster, so that's, that's super cool. Anyway, so you saw it was all on the bottom there. So we're gonna we're gonna do this again. High controls. I just need you to tap there, tap there, tap there, tap. Yeah, great. <sighs> that's that's my control. Great, looks good. Let's hit save up here in the top. Uh, now it's named he Hedge. We've got my custom gesture. Timeout. Um, when the timeout specifically no. No. All right. 
so now we've got this guy he's all set now what we want to do is equip it basically right so when you turn on your switch controls what's going to happen is you're going to launch a recipe every time you hit the screen so whenever you hit the screen you're going to launch this recipe right so we're going to load up hedge as the recipe that we want to launch when the switch control is on okay so you made your switch control you got your custom gesture it's just a bunch of taps in that bottom part you got it set equipped ready for launch let's go test it out okay so the shortcut to turn on switch controls is tapping the the home button three times so if you lightly if you lightly tap it you don't click it twice it does that you want to click it three times kind of quickly give it a second and you see here it says you're configured to use your switch controls and at the top of my screen I've got this overlay all right so now when I hit anywhere on the screen at all it's gonna play my head recipe you got that pretty cool right and more than that it's gonna queue up all my extra taps so if I like spend a minute or two just like tapping this thing furiously right it's gonna add it all up and then play it over the course of 5 10 15 minutes um, I think even up to like a half an hour like you can if you time your thing right it takes longer to, to go you can make your thing um, hit the auto attack so all your people hit. Um, you, you can do a lot with it. Oh, except um, when you run out of energy, right? Or when you got to turn it off. When like If someone's trying to call you. Uh, I don't really know a better way. Um, normally, you would just triple click again. And um, you would turn off your switch controls. But because you've tapped a whole bunch, you, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you, it, it keeps playing over and over again, and then it'll just tap whatever is in its way. It doesn't care. So that's the, that's the danger of macros. <laughs> uh, so the, the one thing that the one way I've, I've found to stop it, right, is you close out your, your phone, you turn it off. Or you um, you lock it, right? And then you turn the macro off, the switch control off, while you're in that mode, right? Otherwise, the switch control will still be on when you're trying to put your password in. And it'll just keep playing the recipe over and over again. So, yeah. Um, it's, that's one little fun part you're going to have uh, playing around with this. And, you know, sometimes your game will crash and, you know, things happen. So be prepared. Don't put anything like that you can purchase in the way because that's, well, I mean, my main macro actually does hit the refill button. Um, but for this event, I, um, it, <laughs> actually, I did try to just run it and it's, it used up way too much lapis too quickly. Anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, that, so this is the Hanging Edge. Um, go check out the the actual, like, op it's the opening scene to Final Fantasy XIII, and it sets the stage for the whole song. And it's mostly featuring saws and light. And it's actually really cool. So, yeah, um, it's not about farming elite this time, guys. It's, this is It looks the same, but it's different from the Brave Frontier event. So... Let's have some fun with what it is. It's, it's actually really cool, I think. So um, I'm liking the lots of rank uh, shards and fast TMs. Oh, mesh. All right. Cool. Um, I'm going to try make more videos. So cool. Let me know what you guys think and what else you'd like to see. And until next time, aloha.